Hey everybody, so before I get into this video, I need to set the stage. It is a dark and stormy night on Halloween of 2013. You're searching the dark recesses of YouTube, seeking a video that perfectly captures the Halloween spirit. The search seems hopeless until, in a stroke of luck, you happen upon it. It is fascinating, but bewildering. What madness could have driven a man to create something such as this? Many have asked this question in the years since this video first manifested out of the dark abyss, but the story behind the video is truly quite fascinating, a bizarre case study in the unpredictable cross currents of the internet. This is The Dancing Pumpkin Man, a modern Halloween icon. For those of you who aren't really sure what I've been talking about, this video, called the Pumpkin Dance or the Spooky Scary Skeletons Dance, features a man in a black unitard and a pumpkin mask dancing in a graveyard accompanied by all manner of different songs, usually Halloween related. For one reason or another, this video and its derivatives have become a classic and instantly recognizable symbol of Halloween. But where did it come from, and how did the idea come into being? Our story starts in the year 2006 at the KXVO news station in Omaha, Nebraska. A man named Matt Geiler had recently taken a job anchoring the 10 o'clock nightly news at the station, a job that he had taken to advance his acting career. The 10 o'clock news was not so much an actual news broadcast as it was a variety entertainment segment. According to Geiler, it was a minute and a half of news up front and then a free-for-all. We had to do 22 minutes of television every night, so after that first minute, it was literally like, what can we do to eat up time? The production team was given roughly a $1,000 yearly budget to create a 22-minute block of programming five nights a week and the vast majority of this content was improvised sketches and spur-of-the-moment comedy scenarios. Geiler said that it was pandemonium. Geiler recalled the variety of sketches filmed, saying, We'd have ideas like, let's go to Target and I'll fall into a display of DVDs. Maybe that'll chew up a good eight minutes of airtime. With little to no supervision and minimal need for approval from the station, it was essentially a no-holds-barred environment for broadcasting whatever ideas the team came up with. This was the environment that led to the creation of the Dancing Pumpkin Man. In the weeks leading up to Halloween night of 2006, Geiler and the 10 o'clock news team had a number of ideas for the Halloween broadcast, but none of them really seemed to stick. One of Geiler's ideas was a sketch he called Happy Jack. Essentially, he would wear the now famous black unitard and pumpkin mask and dance at people's graves. Geiler never took the idea seriously, but to his surprise, it was approved by the producer, although it wasn't planned to feature prominently in the broadcast. However, when Halloween night finally rolled around, the team noticed a problem. With less than an hour to go before the show went live, the programming block still had a hole. In Geiler's own words, the last thing they wanted was to have a gaping hole of black screen in the middle of a broadcast, so they were forced to improvise. Luckily for the team, Geiler's Happy Jack was just the thing to fill the empty slot. With nothing but a black unitard, half of a Halloween pumpkin decoration, a bootleg Ghostbusters theme from a Hallmark Halloween CD, and absolutely no prior planning, Geiler stepped out in front of a green screen and danced. And thus, the Dancing Pumpkin Man was created. The sketch was recorded five or six minutes before the show went live and featured on the broadcast as a one-minute segment before the weather report. In fact, Geiler can be seen in the upper left-hand box on the screen immediately after the dance, although you wouldn't know it from the footage alone. The Halloween broadcast ended, and all was silent at KXVO. The station estimated that only around 100 people saw the original broadcast. On November 2nd of 2006, someone at the KXVO archives uploaded the dance to YouTube with the title, 
KXVO Pumpkin Dance. Around Christmas of 2006, the team was short on content, so they did it again. And again on Valentine's Day of 2007. In the months and then years following, nothing much happened. The video hovered around 90 views for around two years, and very little attention was paid to it during that time. It seemed like the Dancing Pumpkin Man would be forever condemned to obscurity among the dark recesses of YouTube. However, on October 29th of 2009, a BuzzFeed reporter named Scott Lamb posted an article titled Amazing Pumpkin Dance, which hailed Guyler's creation as one of the greatest Halloween videos ever made. Almost immediately, the internet caught on. Within days, the video shot up to over 50,000 views, and the video was spread across what was then a much smaller social media network, but it became a sensation nonetheless. Geiler and many others expected the video to live out its 15 minutes of fame and then sink back into relative obscurity, but this proved not to be true. If anything, the Dancing Pumpkin Man only became more popular. Its enduring success has been linked to many aspects, the innate ridiculousness of the costume, the simplicity of the concept, among others. Geiler himself linked it to the universality of his dance moves. Geiler stated that it becomes this weird conflux of movements, so rhythmically inept that they're on beat to everything ever created. Due to this, his impromptu performance can be synced up to a song of the viewer's choosing. Whatever the reason, the Dancing Pumpkin Man quickly became a lasting representation of the Halloween spirit. Geiler, for the most part, has left the idea of the Pumpkin Man alone, not wanting to ruin the sanctity of the character. However, he has come to embrace the character and enjoy seeing what people have done with it. Above all else, Geiler says, the real cool thing is that for kids, it's a legit part of their Halloween now. After a number of requests in 2010, 2012, and 2016, Geiler accepted an invitation to perform on America's Got Talent, and although he was eliminated from the competition, he received a standing ovation for a dance he performed with Hathaway's What Is Love. What is love? Baby, what Around 2019, Epic Games licensed the Pumpkin Man dance for a dance in Fortnite. Remixes and edits of the video continued to be made, of course, spiking in popularity around Halloween. With all this success, it seems like the Dancing Pumpkin Man will continue dancing for years to come. But it does one good to remember how this bizarre sensation started, reminding us all that we can never truly know who the next Dancing Pumpkin Man will be.